Hi, my name is Wilkin Brutus and you are watching Uji Wooji. Today we are going to discuss travel, culture, and identity. Introduce yourselves, ladies. Absolutely. I'm Sharab. I'm Yolanda. I'm Abir. I'm Natasha. What are some things Americans need to know about? I mean, we're in Toronto right now, but what, do, what are some things Americans need to know about Canada? Not just Toronto, but... First of all, we're not <laughs> that far from each other. Right. Yeah. Not, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> we're on the same continent. So when I was at Afropunk mm. a few weeks ago in Brooklyn, and I told a few people that I was from Toronto, they were just like, wow, you came all the way from there? And I was like, it was an hour flight. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're nicer, and we say sorry all the time, yeah. and we just can't get rid of it, we won't shake it. But... Yeah, like we're on the same continent. Mm. So I'm very keen to say I'm Haitian American. Like that hyphen is, I'm, I'll let you know that it's actually there. But how do you process race, culture, and nationality in Toronto specifically? I think like for myself, like we, I think Canadian is the last thing I say. Like mm. I'm Persian Jamaican. Mm. Yeah. I was born in Canada. And it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's not that, it's not that we're not proud of being no, Canadian, yeah. it's just that it's like an assumption, like, yeah, we're Canadian. Yeah. Mm. Like, we're, exactly. that's a given and we don't need right. to, like, push it in front of people's faces yeah. saying, like, oh, I'm Canadian, you need to know this. It's more so, I am Indian and my parents came here and I was born and I'm Canadian. Like, historically, too, the culture of needing to assimilate is a lot different in Canada than it is in America. I think it's changing now, you know, like you said, you identify as being Haitian American, but I think in the past that wasn't really a thing. Whereas in Canada, you know, us being second generation immigrants, that's just always been the way it is. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and when you also in Canada, when you say you're I'm Canadian, the next question is, no, but from where? Yeah, like you could right. never actually be Canadian. So to cut that whole process out, you just tell people where you come from originally right. anyways, mm -hmm. and then you're not in that whole conversation of, no, but like, where were your parents from? Right. Right. And then you're like, oh, from Canada. Well, no, where were their parents from? <laughs> right. And it just keeps going. So, so I, I guess Anglo or white Canadians don't. Recently, even like the white Canadians are like, well, I have some like French yeah. Yeah. and English. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, like, <coughs> but like in the 1800s. <laughs> 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 For me it was different. I grew up in a small town and so I was like the only brown person in like my grade. So I was very naive and I'm like, I'm Canadian. Mm. Mm. And then mm. they're like, no, you're not. So that's I identifying yourself that. within Canada. Like when I interviewed Dwayne Morgan, he said that normally happens in Canada. But when you go to the States, oftentimes you just say I'm Canadian, oh, right? Yes. It's way easier. It's sometimes, easy. <laughs> sometimes it depends because sometimes I, I always say I'm Eritrean first and then I say I'm Canadian. And in the States, I find myself first identifying as Eritrean and then say, oh yeah, but I'm from Toronto. Right. Mm -hmm. I think it depends on, you know, to where you are in the States. Like if I'm in a huge like metropolitan city, I'll be more inclined to be like, you know, I'm Guyanese Canadian. Yeah. Whereas when you get to certain rural parts, it's just like, I'm, I'm, I'm Canadian. I'm Canadian. Yeah. And I'm you, not even going to bother explaining it. this to you yeah, because <laughs> you won't get it. Yeah. Yeah. What makes Toronto this sort of best kept secret right now? Or is it a best kept secret? Secret per se. Drake just. Drake, pushed us. Justin. Yeah. Just, I don't just, Justin Bieber. No, I don't Drake the weekend. No. I think, yeah. Like you know things like what's happening now, the Toronto International Film, Film Festival. Festival. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other big projects that that's happening. Definitely mm -hmm. Drake did had a hand in that. Yeah. yeah. But I think you know let's. And he always yeah. gets the credit for it too, right? Right. Too. But now it's it's. It's kind of, um, I think everyone's getting a piece of the pie. There's different fashion uh, elements that are happening that's getting a lot of recognition. Can you teach me some language, some Toronto slang? You know, so if, I, if I'm in the six and I'm rocking with my woes, you know, you got Americans <laughs> saying this now. So one that comes, comes to mind would be something like yo guy. Yo guy. Or, or still. Uh, still. How would I use still in, the, in context? Still. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a pause and then you say still. It still comes at the end of a sentence, so it may not make any sense, real sense. <laughs> but it could just be like, oh, I've been grocery shopping all day, still. Still. Still, I think yeah. it would kind of be used like this, more like, <laughs> I got us on guest list still. still. <laughs> <laughs> Toronto or Montreal, which is a better city? I love both. I prefer Montreal. Mm because it has a bit more of a liberal mindset and you can just enjoy yourself and like really free up where Toronto is like British and Anglo and like we're not 
that were more conservative? Yeah, I would say like it's there's a balance, you know, like I love a lot of things about Toronto, especially in the summer, but then Montreal in the summer too is amazing. Mm. So like I love them both equally. I guess I'm more biased towards Toronto because I live here. But right. Montreal is awesome. I have a yeah. lot of fun in Montreal. I feel like it's a little European getaway, just yeah. a few hours away. What's the differences between Canadian men and American men? I speak for myself, but I love the Americans. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're just more confident. Like yeah. they, the way they approach, you know, we appreciate that. Definitely. I think Canadians definitely have a lot to learn yeah. in regards to that. Not to bash our Canadian no. guys, no, no. but you know, put yourself out there. And they're confident about their compliments. Like they actually acknowledge you as a person, not just your books, not just an actual one thing about you. They acknowledge the whole person. Yeah. Most the Americans that, that you've met. Yes. Yeah, a perfect example is when we were in Miami, we were on the beach and two set of gentlemen came up yes. to us. The first group were just like very passive and just like, mm -hmm. hey guys, how are you? you like you guys, you ladies look really nice. Um, okay. Well, we'll leave you alone and they like kind of timidly mm. walked away and then but they were around lingering we found out they were canadian they're from yeah. montreal and i'm like oh cool and we had a common ground but then they just didn't want to bother us mm. and they left and then another group of men came over and they're american and there's like they didn't leave us alone put the beer down we were very interested either but we were being polite because we were canadian yeah. and we're just like mm, okay that was nice it's like nice talking to you guys and like kind of shifting over to the other side and then we found out they're American. I'm like, wow, yeah. those guys could have fully like they were nice, they were pleasant. We would have talked yeah. longer, mm. but they didn't want to stay, right. or they didn't know how to like break the ice, or they right. didn't know how to build up the confidence to go in. Go in. Even what are those? <laughs> what? <laughs> ketchup chips. Wait, what's your song? I'm. Well, sure we do you have that when I was in the six eating ketchup chips. Yeah. Oh. Um, is it? I've never tried. I'm so Ketchup excited. tips before. No. They're not in America. Oh. They're no. a Canadian. Um, what, what, what's going on here? What do you think it's going to taste like? It's going to taste like. Elvis. Does this flavor entice you? No. No. It just. No, I ate live octopus in Korea. Yes. Yeah. I can eat ketchup chips. Yeah. It'll be delicious. Ketchup chips. Okay. <laughs> so we have the market over here. <laughs> hey, yeah, we better get paid for this. Yeah, love it. Babe, give them some chips now. Fix your face. <laughs> mm. Mm. Have another and? one. And another one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that one. We'll help. So finish. what is it? What, 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 what's happening right now? It's fun treat. Yeah, what else? It's Flavor. ketchup beet. Sweet and salty? Like Sweet and salty. Yeah. Yeah, That's there's a combination is. of sweetness and saltiness. I think the salty factor is what like wins everybody. Mm. Yeah, your name. Yeah, yeah. Your name. Yeah. Is yeah. 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 He's gonna finish the bag. Done. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> da da da. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much for joining me, having this discussion with me. We talked about everything. Yeah. I'm sure we'll do a round two when I come back to the six. Are you coming back? You know. Hell yeah! Are you kidding me? Look at this. <laughs> and ketchup chips. I mean ketchup chips. Ketchup chips. Chip. Around hot women. True. I'm coming out. And I'm we're coming not back. judging you. So yeah, and you're not judging thing. me, right? Mm -hmm. When I do come back, what's the first thing I need to do? Well, you gotta have some poutine. Yeah. Poutine. Yeah. yeah. And then go to Kensington Market. Mm -hmm. yes. In the summer. Yes. With everyone, like yeah. we're all going together. On a pedestrian Sunday, so we can walk around. Yes. Nice. <laughs> and then go to full team. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> and have a dark and stormy. Oh, yes. so good. Once again, my name is Wilkin Brutus. Thanks for watching Uji Wooji and thank you for joining us. Thanks for having us. Right. Bye. Bye.